Hi friends, I am Sasi. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to talk about the topic how to transfer asset from Coinbase Pro to KuCoin. So in order to do so, one should have account in both Coinbase Pro and KuCoin. So here Coinbase Pro is our sender and KuCoin is the receiver. So now let's me log into the KuCoin. So this is how my dashboard is going to look like. So click on this deposit option over here. Select the asset type as XLM. For today's demo, I am using XLM asset type. The main reason which why I am using this is to avoid the network fee. So if you use XLM, Litecoin or ADA, the network fee, there is no network fee. That is the main reason I am going with this one. So it's my personal experience. So you guys can decide like which one opts best for you. And then like uh, in order to do like XLM thing, you need to select both memo and address. So that's when the amount will be deposited from XLM to your account. So if you click on continue, so they will send the notice like, please enter both memo and address to deposit XLM to your account. So if you can see like other asset types like USDC or USDT, only valid address is needed, but the memo is not mandatory. But in case of XLM asset type, both are needed. So if you are not entering the memo, transaction will not be successful. Now, if you guys see here, this is the valid address and this is the memo number. So just click on the icon next to that valid address. So the address got copied. So now this is the only thing which we need to do from the KuCoin side. Now let's go to the Coinbase Pro, log into the Coinbase Pro. And then like first we need to do the registration step. Why we need to do the registration? If you guys are thinking you are going to make this transfer multiple times, it's better to register and then make the transfer. Otherwise, like every time you need to copy the valid address and the memo number from KuCoin to Coinbase Pro. So now how to do the registration? So click on the profile image, right? The, there is an arrow mark over here. Click on that and click on address book. Let the page be load. So click on add new address. Choose the asset type as XLM. Give any nickname of your choice. And then this is the main thing like the valid address which we copied from KuCoin. We are pasting it over here. And the memo number also we need to copy from KuCoin and paste it over in the Coinbase Pro. So now click on save address. So now the two-step authentication code will be sent. So usually it will come to the registered mobile number. So in my case, I'm using like Microsoft Authenticator. So I received my code. I am entering the code here. I think like something is wrong with that code. So let me check the code and re-enter. So now the registration is all done. So now go to the portfolio. Click on withdraw. Here, select the asset type as XLM. There are two options here, crypto address and coinbase.com. Coinbase.com is usually used for internal transfers, like transferring the asset from Coinbase Pro to coinbase.com internally. But in our case, we are doing the transfer between two different exchanges. So you can have to select that crypto address this one, like while registering, we have given nickname, right? That nickname will be popping up here. Once you select the nickname, memo number, every other details will be like pre-populated. So you enter the amount over here. This is the memo number. Now I'm going to enter the amount. The network fee is $0. So there is no network fee for this transaction. And processing time, it's only six seconds. It's really a fast transaction. Click on withdrawal and then wait for the code. So once we receive the code, we can enter the code, then we will be all done. I'm entering the code now, clicking on withdraw, XLM. Your withdrawal has started. Click on done button. Now we can see the status of spending. I'm going to click on reload the page. 
So now you can see like it's been showing us from pending to completed. It's really quick. In order for this money to get deposited to the KuCoin, it usually takes like 45 seconds. So let's check in the KuCoin dashboard. You see here, like already the amount, whatever we have sent 25 is received over here. So assets has been received. In KuCoin, there are like three types of accounts, like main account, trading account, margin account. So in my case, if, they, if I want to transfer from main account to trading account, I can click on transfer. Um, the from sources like main account, destination is trading account, and I can choose the asset type, and enter the amount, click on confirm button. I did not enter the amount. So now if I'm clicking on confirm, it's successful. So now I can use this amount to purchase like anything or do like any other transaction. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions, like please feel free to ask in the comment section. I should be happy to assist you. I will see you in some other useful video. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye.